that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? You know, Godzilla versus Kong and Godzilla X Kong came out, not winning any, uh, you know, uh, WGA awards. <laughs> However, they were pretty crowd pleasing, had a lot of fun with them. And coming out of Godzilla X Kong, which a lot of people had a blast with and made over half a billion dollars at the box office. And you had the director, Adam Wingard, saying, I've already got my plans for the next one. And apparently his plans included a bus ride because he's left. <laughs> he's, not, he's not doing it. According to Hollywood Reporter, Adam Wingard is not returning for Godzilla X Kong. He's gone. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter said this, Godzilla and Kong have smashed their last building for Adam Wingard at least for now, uh, Wingard, who has directed the last two of the Legendary's hits MonsterVerse movies, will not be returning for a third installment, multiple sources tell The Hollywood Reporter. The parting of ways is described as amicable uh, and, stream and stemming from timing issues. The door remains open for a future return per insiders. All right, look, one of the main rules, if you're going to be a fan in Hollywood, that you got to know and understand is that whenever you hear the term scheduling conflicts, that's a lie. That means somebody caught somebody else with their pants down or sleeping with somebody else's cousin. That's not a good thing. And they just throw out the common blanket excuse of scheduling conflicts. But in the case of Adam Wingard leaving Godzilla versus Kong, it sounds like that's exactly what it is. Now, we already knew that Adam Wingard had signed on to direct for A24, a project he's very excited about, an action flick called Onslaught. Not to be confused with the Charles Xavier Magneto merging kind of big villain in the comic books. Not that onslaught. Different onslaught altogether. And I think his plan was originally he was going to do onslaught and then he'd do the next Godzilla Kong movie. Well, after making all the money, Legendary Pictures has decided, understandably, they don't want to wait. They want to get moving. Now, of course, you guys will remember last week or two weeks ago, they announced that uh, Shang-Chi... Uh, writer came on and he's going to be writing the next installment and you kind of get why listen these last two films have been money makers take a look at this despite the fact that it was like i think the first movie ray we went back to it during the pandemic yeah. when the movie theaters first went back open godzilla versus kong despite the fact that it, it, pandemic era and it went to max day and date made 470 million dollars and Godzilla X Kong right now is sitting at $563 million. These two films have made over a billion dollars combined. So it's understandable that Legendary doesn't want to sit around and wait for three more years before they get the ball rolling, right? I'll say this. I'm okay with Adam Wingard stepping away. And I'll tell you why. I have had fun with these two movies. I really have. But I kind of appreciate it when new directors come in and give some fresh blood, a new perspective to it. I mean, keep some of the zaniness to it and whatever, but maybe give something else that Adam Wingard wasn't doing. I'm not saying that Adam Wingard, I wouldn't have been happy if Adam Wingard was coming back to do another one. <clears throat> sure, I would. I've, I've had fun with these last two ones. I'm sure I'd have fun with the third one. But he's moving on to do Onslaught, a project I'm very interested in, and bringing in a new director, some fresh blood, a fresh perspective, Rob. Might uh, might do the old Titan some good here for that. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Cuts Clothing. Let's be real. Most guys would wear a t-shirt every day of their lives if we could. The problem is that most t-shirts are not acceptable to wear at work or out on a hot date. Today's sponsor, Cuts, has finally changed that. Cuts t-shirts are such high quality, wrinkle-free, and so buttery soft that you can look like you're dressing up even when you're dressing down. Yeah, you heard that right. They are wrinkle-free. And for a limited time, you can save money while redefining the dress code by heading to cutsclothing.com and use the code Campia for 20% off. Guys, you know me, when it comes to clothing, my number one priority is comfort, and I could not believe just how comfortable my cut shirt was. It was light, it breathed, it felt like a million bucks, and it made me feel like I looked like a million bucks too. And the best part? Cut's clothing is built to last. Their durable construction means you'll be enjoying your favorite shirts and pants for years to come, making them a smart investment for your wardrobe. So guys, for a limited time, our listeners get 20% off your entire order when you use the code 
code CAMPIA at checkout. That's 20% off your order at CutsClothing.com with the promo code CAMPIA. Please support our show by telling them that the John Campia Show sent you. Experience the perfect blend of style and comfort with Cuts Clothing. Anyway, you heard about this, Rob. Are you surprised? Are you worried? What do you think? Well, I'm not surprised at all. As a matter of fact, I think Adam Wingard's doing a great thing because, look, what he bought himself was clout. You know, you make two Godzilla movies and King Kong movies, and they make a billion dollars. What you want to do is be able, the, the power in Hollywood is to make the movies that you want to make. That's what filmmakers want to do. And to team up with A24, he's going back to his indie horror roots. I think it's a great move. He goes and makes a really cool A24 movie. And if it does well, obviously it's not going to, it doesn't, the pressure to make half a billion dollars is not going to be there for an A24 movie. That's true. But if yeah. he makes a cool, like if he makes a movie for 30 or 40 million for A24 and it, it, it does respectably well, well, then he's got clout that he never had before. He's a billion-dollar director, and he goes back and makes a banger of a movie for A24. You get to That buys you a lot. That buys you three or four more movies that yeah. you want to make. You're able to get things greenlit. That's how Hollywood used to work when people had careers that they would build. <laughs> you know, you don't just get plucked from the indie world, dropped into the meat grinder of a studio, and then mm, you never get another word. Uh, he's, Wingard's doing the, he's making the smart play, the smart play. What do you think... What direction do you see Leg Legendary going now, though, now that they're moving on from Adam Wingard, at least for the next? I mean, it, it sounds like the article at least makes it sound like they could work together again in the future. Sure. But, but for now, do you think they will try to keep the next film as much the same tone as the previous two? Do you think they'll take the addition of a new director as an opportunity to maybe change it up a little bit. Yeah. How do you see them going with this? I do. I, I Look, the tone, this goofy tone is working. That's why the time has come for Aliens. I, and I, I don't say that facetiously. I do not. I know. Godzilla I know. versus the Astro Monster or Godzilla versus Monster Zero, the Aliens from Planet X. It's time to bring Aliens into this franchise because what else are you going to do? You've already done you've, you've you've done the center of the earth business. We, I I want extraterrestrials in awesome flying saucers. I want the Maser cannons that I love when I was a kid. That 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 cool animation that only the Japanese could do. Bring it on! I need I I I think aliens, flying saucers over the earth, fighting monsters, actually taking control. The aliens took over control. What happens if they took over all the monsters on Earth? You do a destroy all monsters vibe with flying saucers. Dude, it would be so dope. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be. I, I'm not 100% sure about this. Was Legendary not behind Pacific Rim? Of course they were. So they were. That so would be the only thing better than aliens. It's to cross is the over crossover Pacific Rim. Which, by the way, if they were to do that, that's some Avengers level well, box office right actually, there. you... I mean, you kind of solved the problem because you just said aliens take over the monster's mind. So then well, you have those to fight. And remember, there were aliens launching kaiju against Earth. Yeah. So if somebody opens a portal, like they, what if they open a portal in the middle of the center of the where Kong presides? Well, what would have to happen? And then is... they get kicked out by the alien creatures, and these crazy kaiju's come okay, up. Man. I'm going to pitch something that may sound like a wild fever dream, uh -huh. but imagine this. <laughs> so. The aliens open the portal and they're sending through multiple kaiju, right? Just like Kong had to go and get and recruit Godzilla. What if you literally have humans and Titans working together? And like you say. literally got, we've got yeah. 15 kaiju here. Quick, we need to deploy Kong, Mothra, Godzilla. You know, and name 12 other, Dude, and you literally get 12 bro. Titans against 12 bro. Kaiju. The Avengers, and, and we've already Avengers seen, like, event. the glove. That was the prototype of the, yeah. so it'd be like a prequel to Pacific Rim. And you know who you get to direct it? There's one man. That Ronald bring... Emmerich. No, man. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro, bring it back. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is the movie he was born to direct. <laughs> then Dude, I love your pitch. In. Come on, man. That would be awesome. You, But you've got to have alien saucers, too. You've got to oh, have extra. That's yeah. what brings in the humans to, t to team up with. It's not just the monsters, because what are they called in uh, Pacific Jaegers. Rim? The Jaegers. So you yeah. have Jaegers, Jaegers teaming up with them. It would be the proto Jaeger. It would be the beginning of the, uh, the... And the thing is, maybe maybe, maybe all the monsters go into, into hiding. All of our Titans go into hiding, and that's why 
Dude. We don't see them in the Pacific Rim movie. And they could just rip off that scene from event, the first Avengers, and a, and a Jaeger holds up like a shield. Godzilla blasts into it to reflect off the shield into like someone else. But here's the deal. Here's the kicker. All the all the pilots of the Jaegers, they've all retired. Yeah. So there's only one pilot left. Oh. Maverick. <laughs> there we go, baby. <laughs> Uh, but I'm telling you, man, a Pacific Rim <laughs> monster versus Green crossover. Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro would direct the hell out of it and make it three hours long. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, well, well, they would probably do that. Come on, dude. No. Make smaller... my dreams come I'll, true. I'll, I'll right. give you two hours we and 20. We need to move on. No, we don't, really. No. <laughs> right. Question is for you. This is all that matters now. What do you think about this? Uh, Adam Wingard, who directed the previous two movies, will not be coming back for the third, despite the fact that he said he was kind of working on them. <laughs> anyway, are you excited about maybe some fresh blood? Are you worried about it? Uh, whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.